The hazy picture about who will form Pakistan's next government seems to be clearing out now. In a major breakthrough, the Nawaz Sharif-led PMLN and Bilawal Bhutto Zardari-led PPP have in principle agreed on political cooperation. Joint statement issued by the two parties says PPP is all set to put forward PMLN's name during the party's Central Executive Committee meeting on Monday. The discussions took place earlier today when Sheba Sharif reached out to Bilawal Bhutto Zardari at his residence in Lahore. The coalition could also feature other smaller parties. Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif hosted delegates, that is Prime Ministerial candidate Nawaz Sharif, hosted delegates from the MQMP that are 17 winning candidates in the kitty. Nawaz Sharif was joined by his brother Sheba Sharif, who is also a former Prime Minister, for these talks. On the other side of the political spectrum, workers of Pakistan Tarika in Saf hit the streets on Sunday holding protests in Lahore, Karachi, Peshawar and Rawalpindi. Since the independents formed the largest bloc, the election commission has directed them to either form a new party or choose an existing party within 72 hours of the election results being declared. Independent candidates linked to Imran Khan's PTI have won 91 seats. Now, Al Sharif's PMLN came second in the race, with the party securing 76 seats. Bilawal Bhutto Zardari's PPP managed 54 seats. We're now being joined by our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik, live from Islamabad. Good to see you, Anas Malik. Just m moments ago, uh, the PPP and the PMLN held a meeting uh, at uh, Bilawal's house in Lahore and they said that in principle they have agreed on political cooperation. PPP is set to put forward PMLN's suggestions in its CEC meeting tomorrow. Tell us more about this latest development. What does it mean? Well, Eric, I'd, I'd uh, ask you to allow me and bear with me on this while I translate from the uh, joint statement that's been issued in Urdu. Uh, so just bear me with this. It says uh, the, the, the president of the Pakistan People's Party, uh, Asif Ali Zardari, chairman of the Pakistan People's Party, Bilal Bhutto Zardari, uh, have met uh, former Prime Minister Mia Muhammad Sheba Sharif at Bilawal House in Lahore. In, uh, they both have agreed, the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz and the Pakistan People's Party, in their meeting have agreed in principle to for political cooperation. The, in the meeting, they have also discussed the overall situation uh, in the country and they have also discussed in detail with regards to these, this uh, political cooperation. Both the leaders have also agreed that uh, uh, it is necessary for the country to have political stability and therefore it is imperative to have political cooperation. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, they've also said, both the leaders uh, have also in principle uh, have said that they will try to get the country back on the track through political stability uh, and uh, uh, in, in the meeting uh, it was also decided that PMLN's suggestion would be put forward before the People's Party Central Executive Committee that is to be held tomorrow. Uh, uh, both have said that uh, uh, the, the, the majority of the people have given them mandate and that they will not disappoint the public. Uh, in among the de uh, delegates from the PMLN who had who had gone to the Bilawal House in Lahore to meet the PPP leadership included uh, Azam Nazir Talar, Ayaz Sadiq, Ehsan Iqbal, Rana Tanvir, Khwaja Saad Rafiq, Malak Ahmad Khan, Maryam Aurangzeb and Shaza Fatma Khwaja. Now, what I understand from this is that uh, they've, been, they've overly used this word political cooperation. What is going to be that political cooperation is a million dollar question and I think uh, come tomorrow, 7 p.m. Pakistan time, when the PBP's Central Executive Committee meets here at, in Islamabad at the Zardari House, that is when things will be abundantly clear as to which direction uh, they are heading to. Eric? Anas Malik, this is very interesting because just before the polls, you managed to speak to Bilawal Bhutto, then he was the foreign minister, and he said that uh, he will not work under Nawaz Sharif as a foreign minister and he had uh, also suggested some you know 
what he, he intends to do if he becomes the next prime minister. Has that changed so far? Um, looking at the latest development where the PMLN visited the PPP. PPP is chaired by Bilawal Bhutto Zardari. You rightly mentioned, Eric, that uh, during our interview on, with Vion just exactly 10 days ago, Bilawal Bhutto Sardari was very persistent with regards to his pitch that he will be the Prime Minister. And there seems to be clarity on the part of Pakistan People's Party that on who their Prime Ministerial candidate would be. Uh, He's made it clear that uh, in, in, in a lot of interviews that he spoke given to the media that he's been there, done that, quote unquote, uh, with regards to uh, the foreign ministership or being the minister under anyone. So it would be really interesting. You've, you've mentioned, uh, you've had a mention in your question with regards to Nawaz Sharif putting forward the leadership or the prime ministership. But uh, in the past three days or so since the polls have taken place, we are yet to hear clarity from the Pakistan Muslim Nawaz as to who its prime ministerial candidate would be. And I think that is the reason it is imperative to, to wait and see as to what the PMLN has to has suggested to the Pakistan People's Party that it would be laying before it, the, its central executive committee come Monday at 7 p.m. at the Zardari house because whatever that they are suggesting would that be agreeable to the PPP or not that too is the second phase of the question but the first phase is what is the actual suggestion Eric? Anas Malik um, just before I let you go we did speak about uh, protests in Rawalpindi and Karachi and these are supporters of the PTI party um, what are their grievances? Why are they protesting? Uh, are the protests still going on? So a bit of the context, yesterday uh, the PTI held its first uh, post-election press conference. We were there uh, and we asked a question as well. Uh, uh, Vion asked a question to Barrister Gohar. Uh, in that very press conference, Barrister Gohar announced that the PTI will be holding a peaceful protest outside every returning officer's uh, office in uh, all of the uh, all, uh, all across the country. Uh, the protests were to start at 2. They did not start until 4, 4.30 Pakistan time. And these protests were not just limited to Rawalpindi or to Karachi. They were all across the country, as I said. Now, the basic grievance is that uh, the PTI believes that its mandate has been dropped. Uh, there has been swap of results and that there needs to be a fair count within in accordance with the form 45 that the polling po agents have that has the number of uh, uh, that has the number of votes polled in each polling station as well to for the candidate so if if uh, that is corroborated then the pti candidates uh, would be in a lead now that is a claim and in order to have their grievance address that is the reason the PTI had called out for a nationwide protest, a peaceful protest today. Uh, but it is pertinent to mention that parts of the country has Section 144 imposed. That means uh, assembly of four or more than four people at, a, at one particular place is not allowed. Uh, and that is the reason we saw some, some of arrest as well. The administration says that the PTI had not sought permission mm -hmm. for a protest. Uh, but some rowdy scenes coming out from Lahore, from Rawalpindi and from Karachi with regards to the high handedness of the authorities on PTI protesters. Eric? All right, we are waiting for the final results to be called in Pakistan. That has not happened yet. We will be keeping a close eye on the developments in Pakistan. I've been talking to our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik. Anas Malik, thank you. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.